My roasted butternut squash salad with tahini dressing can be a festive holiday side dish or a meal all on its own. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about a side dish. Well, it could be a side dish or it could be a really good meal. We're making my roasted butternut squash salad. So let's get started. We're going to start with a butternut squash. This is what they look like. And they're a little bit of work, but they're worth it. They're very, very delicious. All we need to do is peel it and de-seed it and cut it up. I'll show you how easy it is. You want a good sharp knife. I like to just take the top off and then the bottom. You want to be careful because as you see, they roll around. Now, we have this stem part and this bulbous part. The bulbous part is like a pumpkin, that's where all the seeds are. And this part is all squash, but it's all edible. I like to cut it here. Ooh. We'll put that aside. I usually start with squash part. And you can just take a vegetable peeler and peel it right off, just like that. All right, now onto this part. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel it first. Now we need to get rid of the seeds. I'm gonna cut this in half. And you see, it's just like a pumpkin, like we do at Halloween. So we're just gonna take a spoon, scoop out all these fibers and the seeds. And the other. All right, now we just wanna cut this up into bite-sized pieces, maybe around an inch, which is two and a half centimeters or so. I'm going to start with the bulbs. They're a little easier to start with. I'm just going to cut them into slices. And now I'm going to cut each one of these into bite-sized pieces. For this part, I like to stand it flat and go right down the center. Now, I have a flat surface to cut on. All right, here's our squash, all cut up. Now, if you don't want to do all that work, and it was a little bit of work, you can buy this in your store, in the produce department, already cut up. Now, just be a little careful if you do that when you can find it, because they usually cut them into smaller pieces than this. So this is gonna go in a nice big bowl. And notice, I'm using my bench scraper, not my knife, to pick all of this up. To our squash, we want to add a little more flavoring and things to help the salad get started. I have here one red onion, medium size, that I just sliced up, right in. Cumin is next. Two teaspoons. Now what is cumin if you're not familiar with it? It's a, it's a spice, it's smoky, it's earthy, it's very common in southwestern cuisines, uh, Mexican, things like that. Right in, salt and pepper, of course. And now a couple tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna mix this well. To try and get everything as coated as you can with that oil and those spices. All right, that's looking pretty good. I have my sheet pan here and I've lined it with a little bit of parchment paper. We're gonna spread this out, and now we're going to roast this. I have my oven preheated to 425 Fahrenheit, which is 220 Celsius. 
I'm gonna roast this for 35, maybe even 45 minutes or until it's softened and just starting to brown. Now I said, be careful with the store-bought kind that's already cut up because there'll be smaller chunks in this and they're not gonna take as long to cook. So you wanna start checking them after 15 minutes or so. All right, it's off to the ovens. While our squash is roasting, we're gonna make the dressing next. I have another big bowl. We're gonna start with tahini. What is tahini? I said earlier, tahini is ground sesame seeds. This is what it looks like when you buy it in the store. This is what I get. This is what it looks like out of the container. It's delicious. It's kind of nutty, almost like peanut butter. And it's gonna make this salad seem indulgent. To that, we're gonna add some mayonnaise, two tablespoons. Now, this right now is a vegetarian dish. If you want to make it completely vegan, you could use two tablespoons of vegan mayo. Right in. Lemon juice is next. Now we need two tablespoons. I have some nice juicy lemon, so I'm gonna use the juice of a whole lemon. That's about the same amount. And please use fresh lemon. Always, always. Don't use the stuff in the bottle if you can possibly avoid it. Next up is water. We need a quarter of a cup, which is about 60 mils. Next flavor is garlic. Now, you want it really finely minced, and what I find, the easiest way to do it is with a garlic press. This is mine. I will leave you a link to a very affordable one. And you just put your clove in, squeeze it, and it comes out all minced up, and it's brilliant. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now we're gonna whisk this up until it's creamy and well combined. And that's our dressing. Now I want to reserve about a quarter cup, 60 mils, of this dressing, so I'm gonna use the same little measuring cup. And hopefully I can pour this in without spilling it. Now I'm gonna let this dressing just kind of sit and rest. I want all those flavors to combine, get to know one another, maybe take in a movie. While this is resting, I'm gonna go check on my squash. Here we are, here's our squash all out of the oven, our squash and onions actually. And look how beautiful that is. Now I took this out of the oven and I let it cool down. It's still a little bit warm, but not that I can't touch this. But it's not quite time for that yet. Now, in my big bowl of dressing, to that I'm going to add some arugula, also known as rocket. This is five ounces or 140 grams. This is a peppery green, it's a little spicy. Not spicy like a jalapeno, but it's like black pepper spice. It's delicious, it's bright. And we're gonna put this entire container right in here. I'm gonna give it a little stir. Just like this. Mm. All right, now we're gonna actually start plating this. I have a nice size platter here. We're gonna put all of this arugula right into this platter. I'm gonna spread this out a bit. All right, here's my squash and these roasted onions. And we're just gonna take this off, scatter them about the top. You know me, artfully messy, messily artful. Look at those colors. The orange, the purple, the onions. Now I wanna add a little more textures to this. I'm gonna use some pecans, or pecans. Three quarters of a cup, about 85 grams. I just gave them a little light toast. Next up, I wanna add even more flavor. I have here a third of a cup or 50 grams of pitted Kalamata olives, and I just chopped them up. This is gonna add little pockets of brine, a little brightness. Not so much that you're gonna be chewing on a big olive, but you're gonna get that little flavor pop in your mouth. Now, remember that dressing that we had? That quarter cup that we reserved? I'm gonna drizzle this right over the top. Just like that. 
And finally, I have some chopped mint, about two tablespoons. I just chopped up as if it were like parsley. And we're gonna sprinkle that on top as the final layer to this salad. Now, for my favorite part, it's time to do the tasting. And let me grab my wine. I'm gonna sneak some from right over here. I wanna get some of that rocket, a piece of that squash. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good stuff. The arugula or rocket, peppery, and the butternut squash is creamy, a little sweet. The dressing gives you that indulgent feel. It's, it's just creamy and a little nutty. And then you get the big crunch from the pecans and a little pop of brine from the olives. It's delicious. It's a great combination. You have a little sip of this. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this recipe, then hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, so that we can see you in our next episode. Now, while I go and devour this and drink my wine, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.